My name is Albert Kutsia. I'm at the Northwest University, specifically the Unit for Reformational Theology. I teach Old Testament, and my research interests include the Book of Deuteronomy, the Book of Hebrews, and hermeneutics. I'm Francis Fallyun. I'm also from the Northwest University. I'm also in the Unit for Reformational Study. Uh, I teach New Testament, and my focus is on the Synoptic Gospels. Life is a primary theme in Scripture. The Bible starts with a description of the living God creating and sustaining life, and ends with a depiction of life eternal in the new heaven and earth. Between numerous references to both life and death are found, expressed in the rich diversity of various books, corpora, and genres of scripture. Much has been published on what scripture teaches about life and death. Up to date, however, no comprehensive biblical theology, theology in which the concept of life is stretched throughout the different, different books and corpora of the Old and New Testament has been published. It is this lacuna that the current publication aims to fill. The assumption is that such an approach can provide a valuable contribution to the theological discourse on life and related concepts. In a biblical theology of life in the Old Testament and a biblical theology of life in the New Testament, an indication is given of the different nuances of the concept of life in the various books and corpora of the Old and New Testament by providing the reader with a book-by-book -book overview of this concept. This forms the bulk of the investigation and provides new insight on the concept of life in the respective books of Scripture. The final chapter of a biblical theology of life in the New Testament gives an indication of the overall use and function of the concept of life respectively in the Old Testament, the New Testament, and Scripture as a whole. This is provided by using the findings of the book-by-book -book overview of the concept of life in Scripture to draw the lines together. The current volume traces the concept of life in the Old Testament, while the subsequent volume does the same for the New Testament. The volume on the Old Testament consists of 13 chapters. The various chapters of this volume are written by biblical scholars who are experts in their fields. And as such, the volume represents scholarly discourse for scholars. The very first chapter functions as an introduction giving the reader an overview of the necessity of this publication, its aim and scope, the methodology employed, the instructions given to contributors, and the structure of the subsequent chapters. Next, three chapters cover the concept of life in the Pentateuch. As life is such a prominent theme in the creation narratives of Genesis, we decided to devote a whole chapter to life in Genesis 1 to 11. This is supported by the fact that various scholars treat Genesis 1 to 11 as a unit, the so-called universal history, with the calling of Abraham in Genesis 12 as a specific turning point in the book. Deuteronomy, on the other hand, forms both the culmination of the Pentateuch and the introduction to the Deuteronomistic history. Moreover, unlike the rest of the Pentateuch, the concept of life in Deuteronomy has a very specific nuance. And for this reason, a separate chapter was devoted to life in Deuteronomy. In light of this, Genesis 12 to Numbers 36 are grouped together in a chapter covering the concept of life from the calling of Abraham up to the second generation in the wilderness. Consequently, chapter 2, Life in Genesis 1 to 11, forms a unit written by Paul Krier, Chapter 3, also written by Paul Krier, investigates then life in Genesis 12 to Numbers 36. And finally, chapter 4, life in Deuteronomy is written by myself. For both traditional and practical reasons, the former prophets, major prophets, and minor prophets are discussed in three consecutive chapters. Chapter on life in the former prophets is written by David Firth. A chapter on life in the major prophets, written by Chris von Avalt and the chapter on life in the Minor Prophets, written by Fani Sneiman. The chapters on the writings are mostly demarcated according to traditional literary divisions. 
as is the case with the Psalms, Job and Proverbs. For practical reasons, the five scrolls are treated as a unit, while Daniel, which is unique in Old Testament literature, is treated on its own. Ezra, Nehemiah and Chronicles are discussed in a single chapter because of its similar historical background and possible authorship. The chapter on life in the Psalms is written by Harry van Roy, the chapter on life in Job written by Lance Hawley, the chapter on life in Proverbs is written by Robin Keller Branch, the chapter on life in the Scrolls is written by Gideon Kotzer, the chapter on life in Daniel is written by Hans van Dieventer, and finally, the chapter on life in Ezra, Nehemiah and Chronicles is written by Willem Bosov. The typical reader of the book is a biblical scholar or student, someone interested in the text of scripture, biblical theology, or the concept of life. The book represents scholarly discourse for scholars. By reading the book, readers will find a book by book overview of this concept in scripture, as well as a summative overview of the concept in scripture as a whole. The benefit of such an approach is that the reader will be able to see the different nuances of the concept of life in each biblical book or corpus, the possible developments of the concept within the Old or New Testament, the similarities and differences between the concept in the Old and New Testament, and how such a detailed overview leads to a more nuanced presentation of the concept in Scripture.